How's it going everyone? My name is Cynical and welcome back to another Higurashi When They Cry. Last episode, we have experienced some episodes of Rena going crazy. If you haven't checked the last episode, go do it because it's, uh, it's, it's not scary per se, but it gets you riled up. So hopefully we get to see more of that as we continue. Weariness and a headache. Not a very nice way to start the day. どうしたの？ケイチ、今朝は顔色悪いわよ。夕べは何時に寝たの？Settings. Uh, Voice needs to be brought down just a tad. There we go. It seemed that my mom had noticed my sullen state. Yesterday, I kept on waking up in the middle of the night. Without a doubt, I felt a presence. I felt the presence of someone standing in my front in front of my door. I told myself repeatedly that it was my imagination and forced myself to try and sleep. Except not being able to stand it, I gathered up uh, I gathered up my courage and opened the door. Of course, there wasn't anyone there. I think I did this three times throughout the night. Or maybe I just didn't remember doing it any more than that. <sighs> Even though I was able to get to the breakfast table without incident, I still didn't feel at ease. <laughs> Technically, I did go to a school, but it was most it was mostly self-study. It wouldn't matter much if I missed a day, would it? It could have been that I hadn't been feeling well for the last few days because I really did have a cold. If I took some medicine and got a good day of rest, I might be able to greet everyone with a smile tomorrow. Startled, I looked back and forth between the entrance and the clock. It was 10 minutes later than when I usually met up with Rena. It was Rena. Oh god. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to face her, Mom. I don't want to face her. Send her away, please. <laughs> Rena was a good girl, but she's not psychotic. <laughs> she might be somewhat quirky, but she was certainly cute. The lunches she made were delicious, and she always looked out for me. Why should I be so scared of something like that? It wasn't Rena's fault. It was probably mine. It had to have been my cold. It just had to be. Mom headed off to the door. I would have to pass by the entrance to get back to my room. I didn't have the nerve to meet with Rena. So I wrapped myself in a blanket on the sofa and closed my eyes. Ah, sleep little one, sleep. I was so sleep depraved, I quickly fell into a deep slumber. There you go. Do, 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 do. I had only intended to lie down for a bit, but it was almost noon when I woke up. I called out to my parents, but they didn't seem to be around. On the table, I found lunch prepared and a note. Mom and Dad had apparently driven off to somewhere far away. It likely had to do with Dad's work. This happened very so often. Every so often, sorry. So it wasn't that unusual. They would be back for dinner, but might be a bit late. On the note, it said, The insurance card is in the cabinet. Take it and go to the hospital. There was... Wait, what? <laughs> Why do I have to go to the hospital? I'm so confused. 
There was also a well-drawn map to the hospital. That's right. I hadn't been there before, so I didn't know exactly where it was. I had a light lunch. Although, oh, okay, because he's quote-unquote sick. Okay. I guess to pick up medicine. Although it really was just leftovers from the morning and just in case went to the hospital. Okay. I just gotta play it out. Got it. Normally I've never been here. Wait, what? Normally I'd never be here, sorry. In the middle of the weekday. Just walking around like this had me feeling guilty. It was an odd feeling. Following my mom's map, I took a road I usually never used. After walking for a bit, the hospital sign came into view. Hmm, I wouldn't really call this a hospital. It kind of looks like more like a clinic. Huh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I go rambling and it says right there in fucking words. Oh my god, dude. Uh, sometimes, sometimes I should just, you know, read before I mouth off. <laughs> <laughs> Every clinic was written rather stylishly on the sign. Yeah, great. The clinic wasn't very big, but based on the scale, the rest of Hinamizawa, it was far too grand. There was a parking lot and even a reserved spot for buses. They must be making a mint. Look at that alligator thing, what the fuck? <laughs> I spaced out in the air-conditioned waiting room until it was my turn to be seen. Ah, AC. What a wonderful thing. Ah! Okay, thank you. Nice calming music. Huh. After half-heartedly answering all the chatty doctor's questions, we responded with the old, it's probably a cold. Probably. They gave me a shot and three days worth of medicine. I thought it was a little overboard, but if it would clear away the gloomy feeling I've been having lately, then it was well worth a shot. Haha, <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> Can I go home now? I settled the bill and took a quick trip to the washroom. As I was leaving, I overheard a conversation between some elderly people who seemed to be regulars at the clinic. Of course, I had no intention of eavesdropping. If it was... If it just wasn't for that word. Uh, 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 yeah, he did. The big What the fuck? <laughs> Where did that voice come from? Uh, were they talking about Tametake san? I could feel my ears perking up. <laughs>あ、well、true。She was a nurse? Takano Oh, so that was her name. どこへ行っても So her name was Takano-san. That woman with Tamitaki-san. <laughs> uh, the double T's. Hey, what's up? And she worked at this clinic? Ayoshi Osama's shadow was following me everywhere I went. I started listening more closely, but they began talking about fishing and it didn't seem like they were going to revisit the topic. I gave up and left. Thus, even though I was separated from the daily monotony of school, I wasn't able to escape from Oyashiro-sama's shadow. Of course not. <laughs> but of course, Oyashiro-sama was the guardian deity of this place, of Hinamizawa. As long as I was in Hinamizawa, I wouldn't be able to escape 
Never. You'll never escape. <laughs> Maybe it was because I was walking outside, but my appetite had suddenly returned. I might as well buy a snack with the change from the examination fee on the way home. I thought what you had was a little insurance card. Where the fuck you got cash? I don't know, whatever. Contemplating that, I turned onto a familiar street. At that moment, I heard a car horn abruptly honk behind me. Stop honking at me! Was I really walking so far into the middle of the road where I'd be in the car's way? I moved further off to the side, but the horn was still honking at me. I turned around, peeved off. Uh, of course it was. <laughs> Good day to you, I guess. It was Oshisan. He stepped out of his car, AC on full blast, and waved at me. What's up? <laughs> hey, look at that. I asked the same question. Oh, God, am I that old? Nah, I'm just playing hooky. What's up? ちょっと体調悪かったんで。てめ、今日は休みました。お昼を買って帰ろうとしてたところです。それは良かった。実は私、お昼に行こうとしてたんですよ。良かったらご一緒に行かがです。ああ、お体に触るようでしたら構いませ
死ぬ前に何人かの人間に囲まれて暴行を受けたことだけは間違いありませんたたりでなく人間が事件に関わっているのは疑いようがありませんよ That made me a bit relieved We passed in front of the rather desolate but still busier than Hinamizawa train station. The car pulled into a restaurant parking lot and I followed Oshi san into the shop. Shop, shop, shop. Ooh. It was pretty crowded, but there were only adults at this hour. Of course, there wouldn't be children in here in the middle of the weekday. Yeah, that's right. Behave in front of a child. We were led by a peculiarly dressed waitress to our table. I sat with Oshi san in the booth. What do you mean? Oh, you old pervert. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, okay. Settle down there, big boy. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> This teenager is not really that interested right now, please. Yes, he is. Chill, please. That's right. Tone it down. Tone it down. Uh huh. Alrighty then. Ooh. Regardless of how. Oh my god, that's making me hungry. Son of a bitch. Regardless of how the waitresses looked, the food was decent enough. Finishing our meals while talking about some inane topic, Oshi san's after meal cup of coffee arrived at the table. You know, Hinamiza no Mukashi Banashi ga demashita yo ne. Eh, a little bit more than that, but yeah. Eh. Uh, Hito no sato da te iwarete ta te hanashi de shita ke? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, how old are you again? You asked your grandmother. At that point in your life, I th she's gotta be what, 130? Holy fuck. <laughs> Not to be rude, but Jesus Christ. Your grandmother's a champ. Oshi san took out the notepad that was stuffed into his breast pocket. Oh. Onigafuchi。すごい名前ですね。今でもその名前残ってるんですよ。神主の妻が受水自殺した沼の名前は今でも鬼が淵と言うんです。沼の底の底は Of course, nobody had told me anything about such an ominous marsh. A respect born of fear. I guess you could say it was a kind of defecate. Wait, what? No. Deification. A village of inhumane creatures. Even if we are calling them demons, Tengu, long nosed goblins, or Senin, are. no, would be a more apt description. そんなに悪い人たちじゃないみたいですね。でもそこはやっぱり人食いようにらしいんです。ばあ様に聞いた昔話ではですね。息子を治療してもらった大将として連れてきた母親を食わせろと。こうなるらしいんですよ。Yik
That's quite a frightening thing to imagine. Yeah, it is. Jesus. Uh, wait, what? Excuse me? So, okay. The mother brought in the son to get cured. And of course, the payment was her own life. She didn't want that. So, they ran away. Village, I guess, fa um, you know, went and captured them, caught them. Yeah, that's great. But go went ahead and, uh, oh, I don't know, decided to go ahead and eat both mother and son when they were originally supposed to cure the son for eating the mother. I am so dumbfounded. <laughs> I guess for running in the for running away the deal's off, you know, the price went back up. <laughs> wow, okay. Nice village. <laughs> the end, yeah. Yeah, there is Keiichi. There is a fucking problem. True. Except for the ones that the you know, the village, the whole village. They're the ones to be able to tell the truth. The story. I mean, not the truth. Uh, whatever, shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my words twisted. In contrast to the ghastly tale, Oshisan laughed heartily while slip, uh, not slipping, sipping his coffee. But he did slip his coffee. <laughs> but, uh, well, yes. Of course there are other tales. There's always going to be more than one tale. Alright, that's not really another tale. That's kind of a alternative to the first one. I recall that Mion said all the villagers united and fought against the damn construction. I saw similarities with how that part about unification overlapped. Huh. Eh? That caught my attention. Oshisan also appeared to be pondering what it meant. ばあさまが言うにはですね、鬼の狩りの時には絶対に邪魔をしてはいけない。家に閉じこもって布団をかぶってろって言うんです。はあ。つまりどういうことですか? So you're supposed to do nothing, basically. So you Gee, that's great. Basically, don't help the victims. Pretend you didn't see the atrocities. In other words, you become the victim yourself. So. Figure it out, dumbass. <laughs> Many parts of that tale caught my attention. Parts of the story he told me overlapped with the uh, with his theory that the entire village was in on the crime. Even if it wasn't a whole village, it was in, uh, it was conceivable that the villagers were hiding under the covers and leaving them to die. When there is a group. That was on their hunt, wasn't it? I didn't dare to speak. じゃあ、大石さんはやっぱり村ぐるみ、もしくは村人数人の犯行だと見てるんですね。前原さんはどう思います？なあ、すみません。コーヒーのおかわりいいですか？That's what I wanted to know. It seemed that we were both waiting for the other to say that last part. He waited for the waitress to finish pouring coffee before speaking. Oshisan muttered as he watched the milk swirl around in his coffee. Oh. 
If Oshisen had said this to me before, I would have gotten angry at him for calling my friends into question. But as I was now, I couldn't. Go ahead. No, 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 go, 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 go ahead. Oshisan was uh, wearing the most serious expression that I'd ever seen on him. It was as if he was telling me to prepare myself and listen. There was quite a few things I regretted hearing from Oshisan, but none of them were as threatening as this. A little voice inside me was screaming like an alarm. Stop, Keiichi. This was probably the last one. I took a deep breath and silenced that voice. I would not run from the truth. That was all I could utter. Oshisen stared into my eyes silently for a few moments. After he was certain I was ready, he began. Oh shit. <laughs> Multiple. Oshi Sen had said before that Mion had defied the damn project vehemently. Vehemently? Oh my god, I never pronounced. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm, uh, okay, I'm, I butchered it so hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, it wasn't hard to imagine how she'd be if she got worked up. In the second year, the school... Oof. Oh. Yeah, the same Satoko. Oshisan's look told me that my voice was too loud. I realized it as well, and quickly quieted down. Oh, Rika-chan. Oh my god. Each victim is turning out to be like related to the group of people. To our friends. What the hell? Wait, what? Okay, so we went back to Satoko. That's weird. I could tell my lips were getting dry. I didn't even have the wits to keep my mouth from hanging a gap. I had thought it was nothing but a bizarre incident, one that I could easily distance myself from. But clicking and clacking, it had snuck all the way to my feet. Oh. Wait, isn't this, uh... Oh, fuck, what was his name? Satoshi, whatever? It took everything I had to finally say that. I gulped down a glass of water and once again wiped my face with a napkin. Calm down, Keiichi Mayabara. But Oishisen was relentless. Instead of waiting for me to finish sorting out my feelings, he started speaking again. The last of the things I shouldn't have heard. あなたのお友達グループに全て繋がるのです。ウフ。偶然に決まってるじゃないですか。前原さん、静かに静かに。みんな見てますよ。ミオン、サトコ、リカちゃん。So Rika what if they're connected? You're telling me all my friends? It couldn't be. It just couldn't be. Oh. Rena is different, isn't she? Rena is connected with the victims at all. Isn't connected with the victims at all, sorry. True. He said it in a roundabout way. Is he saying she's also connected? 
実は調べてみたらリュウグウさんは引っ越しの少し前に学校で謹慎処分を受けているんですよ何でも学校中のガラスを割って回ったんだとか The fuck? She had a psychotic breakdown. The, 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 Fuck. I'm gonna have to look that up later. I wonder if it has,、uh, was something like a nervous breakdown. I'd heard that it happens to people who are really method- methodical, I can't fuck. methodical or overly sensitive. Neither of those matched Rena's easygoing personality. Yes, yes. I'm going to talk to the counselor about the counselor and the counselor about the counselor about the counselor about the c o u n s e l その中に出てくるんですよ。It? 結構。Wait, what do you mean it? 何がです ?I pressed forward carelessly.There couldn't be anything more for me to regret. 出てくるんですよ。おやしろさまって単語が。How the fuck?It felt like someone's stone cold hand was caressing my back.Why? Why had Rena spoken of Oyashiro sama before she even came to Hinamizawa? Oyashiro sama te yu yu re mi tai na mono ga desu ne. Yona yona jitaku ni yatte kuru te yu desu yo. What? Makuramoto ni tatte jibun o mi oru sun da te. God, that's, fuck- that's like fucking creepy. My mind froze. I couldn't process what, what I was being told. その後、しばらくして、ひなみざわに引っ越されたんです。なあ、そうそう。レナさんは、よそ者なんかじゃないですよ。She was born there, wasn't she? え住民票でわかったんですが、oh, God. リュウグ一家は元は、ひなみざわの住人です。Yep. レナさんがちょうど小学校に上がるときに、茨城へ引っ越されたんです。It was like Oyashiro sama was going, Come back. Come back. <laughs> My mind wouldn't completely blank. It was similar to the static you'd see on a blank TV channel. My ears began ringing as I lost all sense of comprehension. What the fuck do you think? <laughs> しし I don't know. I don't know anymore. Those words brought me back. I couldn't let it end here. Oh boy. Okay, yeah. Explain that one. Irritated, I l o w e d out one final reprisal. Reprisal, sorry. All of them? Oh, wait, wait. Are you going... <laughs> so, just because he became friends with all of us and we hang out for like one night, are you fucking kidding me? Now, there was nothing I could respond with. I fell silent. As my brain turned to mush. I feel like that on a regular basis. <laughs> We should get going, okay. Ah, my brother, son. Oh, he didn't look silly, but no, me must have got. Um, I don't know. I feel fucking pepped up. I don't know if I should take my medicine. I had completely forgotten about the medicine I had gotten today until Oshi san said that. I got another glass of water and we left the shop after I chugged it all down. Chug, chug, chug. We got in the car and returned to Hinamizawa via the rough road. I never really paid attention when I was on my bike, but did cars normally shake this much? Shake, shake, shake it all up. What? 
<laughs> God damn it. It was almost as if the road was desper desperately trying to tell me something. But dump. That big jolt was from the difference in elevation of the road when it changed from concrete to dirt. I was certain that I heard Tamitaki's son scream. I sat in silence, just letting myself be shaken by the car. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, quote unquote ill. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Why are you talking to me? I blurted out the question. Really just blurted it out. I didn't expect an answer. I understood quite well that Oshi-san was investigating this string of suspicious incidents. But why was he telling me all this? I knew nothing and I couldn't help. Everything Oshi-san spoke of was news to me. First of all, what could I, having just moved here, possibly know? By chance, if there was a reason for Oshi-san to reach out to me, then it would have to be. That I was part of Mion's circle of friends, who looked suspicious to Oshi-san. Oishi-san didn't really give a response. It felt a little late, but I thought it was his way of showing a bit of consideration for my feelings. Oh yeah, gee, thanks for telling me that. I wanted to reply with, that's absurd. But in my down... Wait, what? But in my downtrodden state, I couldn't bring myself to say it. Hmm. In other words, he was insinuating that on the next Watanagashi, I might be the victim. Someone in town is pressuring him to stop. Probably the parents or I guess relatives of Mion's, aka the head of the town or village, whatever. After some time, the car finally reached a path to my house. The clock read, the clock read, sorry, 2 p.m. God, I'm so tired. I'm recording this like fucking, I don't know, 2 a.m. I think it's, uh, I'm tired. Leave me alone. <laughs> I was surprised to do, uh, I was surprised, li oh, fuck. I was surprised so little time had passed since we ate. My god, it was hot outside the car. The chirping of the Higurashi hurt my ears. You do that, but... I hope it works out. Duh. <laughs> no. I wasn't collected enough to understand Oshi-san's roundabout way of saying it. Nah, it's fine. <sighs> I didn't really give any sort of response. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's so nice! I'm not crying, it's just amends. <laughs> god damn it. 
。それじゃ、失礼。All right then. The tires crunched over the dirt road as the car made a U-turn and disappeared into a cloud of kicked up dust. It felt like I was watching a boat only throw me a lifesaver in a shark infested waters before disappearing into the distance. <laughs> Funny. That was the first time I thought Oshi san was being unfair. Wait, what? Telling me I was going to be the next victim, and then just saying to contact him if、uh, something happened. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> This wasn't a criminal investigation. He was fishing, and I was just a bait dangling off the line. Ouch, when you put it like that, fuck yeah. Jesus Christ. That hurts my feelings, man. Would the fish be that? <laughs> Would the fish be the perpetrator? Or was it really just Oshishiro,、uh, Oyashiro Sama's curse? <sighs> Either way, the bait would be swallowed whole. I don't think we got a choice. For some time, I could do nothing but stare at the puddle of water left behind by the AC from the car. And that's that. Is that the end of the chapter or are we going into another part? I think this is the end of the chapter. Nope. Yes? No? Nothing is popping up. Ah,、oh, okay, so we're continuing. Great. I wonder how much time has passed since I laid down. It was getting dark outside. My body was soaked in sweat. It would probably be a good idea to change my sheets. At that moment, the phone downstairs rang. Ran. It was probably mom. Mom was quite the worry wart. <sighs> Maybe she had called many times, but I just didn't notice it. Go answer it. Jesus Christ, it's annoying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Yeah, great. Kaich no Otomodash Deska. Kaich or Yasun de Maskado. How are you, Masoka? After our exchange, we both had a good laugh together. Except I was suspicious of her even as we were laughing. God damn, doing this both edgewise, damn, it hurts.、Uh, it hurts. Was everybody really involved in the incidents? The fact that I couldn't say no saddened me. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
and Rena looked like she was worried about me from the bottom of her heart. It didn't look like there was anything beyond, um, sorry, behind those expressions. It seemed my face appeared a bit sullen. Rena held out the package wrapped in newspaper. There might be about five in here. It was quite hefty. あ、サンキューな。ミオの Okay, this is happening. Alright. It's not the one I was thinking of, but uh, this is still fucked up. So, uh, I guess you can actually go ahead and um, apply those seatbelts I was mentioning. Oof. <laughs> Both of them thought my parents were home. It was because the entranceway was a mess. So Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh no. The sudden question startled me, and I went wide-eyed when I saw Mion. I had never seen her like that. It was a highly unsettling visage. But why is she asking me about why I ate for lunch? What she said was so inane, it was almost meaningless. The way she said it. It was almost like she didn't even care at all about what I ate. She must have suspected that I was with Oshi-san. Anyway, I felt that if I hesitated or tried to change the subject, then they'd read the, too deep into it. So, I tried answering as quickly as possible. Except, contrary to the efforts I had made, there was a pause before they replied. Oh no, both of them. Oh no. The glimmer from Rina's eyes had changed at some point as well. It was now sharp, as if to make me feel the feigned ignorance behind her words even more. As if she already knew. That's how it looked to me. Mion was speaking in an unusually low tone, almost as if she knew that I had eaten at the restaurant in town. No, I'm, I'm overthinking this. I mean, both of them should have been in school at lunchtime. There was no other way they could have known where I was. Uh... Oh, God. Flop. The package with the moki I was holding slipped out of my hands. I could tell the blood had drained from my face, making me look... make me go pale. <laughs> oh, no. Keiichi-kun, sore dare? That's my grandfather. Shut up. Hyotoshite, kono aida no hito kana? I don't know what you're talking about, Rena. Kana? No. I could feel the back of my throat going dry. This was no longer a bluff. They knew everything. It took everything I had to finally force those words from my throat. My knees were shaking. Mion sneered knowingly, and her laugh seemed to carry on forever. 
Uh, you know the weather, <laughs> current events, <laughs> nothing about the past or the village or you guys. <clears throat> nah, 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 we, 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 yeah, we're fine. Oh god, why did you have to say that? God damn it. Oh god, I saw movement. Son of a bitch, Keiichi. Rena's unwavering gaze pierced through my eyes and peered further inside me. Oh my god! I dug my own grave. Yes, you did. My heart was throbbing so much it felt like it was going to explode. I believe that. I gotcha. Don't kill me. I couldn't even shake my head. It took everything I had to stop my teeth from chattering. She never let her gaze break from mine, even as she tilted her head slightly. Oh god, why are you smiling with those eyes? Fucking creepy. Yes, I'll go lie down. Please, leave, now. As if nothing had happened, they both giggled at each other and started making their way out. <sighs> I hadn't moved a muscle since I had dropped the package of Moki. As they left, the door slowly closed behind them. Oh wait, no, this is the scene. Wait, is it? Fuck, I'm so confused right now. All I could do was stare, as if I couldn't move until the door was completely closed. Just as the door was just about to be closed, it opened again slightly with a sudden creak. Oh my god, it is. Okay, buckle in. Buckle in. Sending my heart racing once again. Oh god. A single eye peered in through that narrow slit, and Mion's hawkish gaze peered at me once again. Yeah, yeah, I'll, su I'll see you later <laughs> with that eye. Oh god, you're gonna fucking kill me. Uh, uh. Please don't. Okay, got it. Message received. Don't miss school again. <laughs> oh god, fuck me. Thud. The door closed. I wasn't able to move a muscle even after their low laughter died off into the distance and silence once again no fell, off, fell off the room. Coming back to my senses, the first thing I did was lock the door. Whew. They knew what Oshi said and I talked about. Why? How? No, that wasn't that wasn't important. Thinking about it now, all of it could have been overheard from the beginning when Oshi san met me. Just as Mion said, I couldn't hide anything. Then, what were they trying to tell me? That part was obvious. They were warning me not to say anything unnecessary. What they, what did they deem unnecessary? I only talked with Oshi-san about one thing. And they were warning me that that was unnecessary. What was it that Oshi-san talked to me about? The incidents involving uh, Oyoshiro-sama's curse that occurred every year weren't individual cases, but were connected as a whole, as well as the fact that they were, may be, m sorry, as well as the fact that there may be multiple perpetrators hidden within Hinamizawa. No, more precisely, that Mion, Rena, Satoko, and Rikachan were all suspicious. Is that what they are warning me against? I hit my own face hard enough that it let out a loud slap. If only that would make me... Wake me, sorry, from this nightmare. But for some reason it felt like I was punching a blanket. It was almost laughably pangless. Calm down, Keichi Marbara. When did I become such a pessimist? Calm down. Calm down. Settle down and sort things out. 
The reason Mion knew I was eating lunch with Oshi-san was probably because somebody from Hinamizawa just happened to be there at that time. They must have told Mion that I was there. That made the most sense. <laughs> Plus, come to think of it, she didn't ask me where I ate lunch, did she? She only asked, was it good? They were just curious since I was together with someone not from Hinamizawa. It's not as if they had any ulterior motives. That's it. It has to be it. Boy, you're lying to yourself pretty hard. <laughs> Thinking about it that way, it was the same with Rena. I was just being strangely ambiguous about when I met with Oshisan, and Rena was just correcting me on that. Yes, that's when I was bewildered by the change in character from the usual mild-mannered Rena. I was just startled by it. <laughs> that's the most natural way of thinking about it, right? It felt like my mind was mixed up in tangled mess of spaghetti. Deep red marinara sauce would have poured out my nose and ears if you squeezed my head. That's a weird way. To, that's a weird. <laughs> that's just. It's okay. That's weird. Just sorry. Thinking that, I suddenly felt like vomiting. Yeah, good boy. Go ahead, vomit. Let out all the toxins. Whoops. Shit, I didn't read that. I didn't read it. Ah! Log. Thinking that, I suddenly felt like vomiting. I really didn't want that to happen, so I stopped holding my head. Lately, I had no idea what anyone was saying. Spending time with them was fun. It didn't feel like there was any sort of hidden agenda. I really do think that they're a good bunch of people. When I just moved here and couldn't make heads or tails of everything, they were really kind to me. Rena was really kind and always looked after me. As long as that strange affliction didn't rear its ugly head, she was really pretty cute. Mion is also a really good person. She didn't care about anyone's age or gender and was optimistic and outgoing. I was never bored when I was with her. And talking of not getting bored, rambunctious. Yeah, uh, yeah, I said that right. Sorry. <laughs> Rambeckshus. <laughs> God damn it. Sadako was a good person for that too. She was pretty bratty, but that was just the way she interacted with others. My God, is this going to end soon? I'm tired. Rika Chen was the same way. She didn't speak often, but that didn't mean she was always silent. They're my friends. But after hearing of the better untold secrets of... Hinamizawa from Oshisan and Tamitake san. When I was told about Oyashio sama's curse, things started going crazy. Then hearing from Oshisan that Rena, Ren, Mion, Rena, Satako, and Rika chan were all suspicious. After that, everything changed. Everyone changed. That's right. It all started getting weird after Oshisan told me all that strange stuff. At that time, I really should have, should have just not listened to those weird stories. Actually, it all started um, after, after Tamitaki-san, you know, dismemberment. But okay, yeah, sure. Blame Oshi-san. Go ahead. <laughs> God damn it. I shouldn't even. Have, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh. If I, were, if, if I just hadn't gotten that strange sense of curiosity, if I just hadn't, that's right. So that's why they... Why is that... Why is that, uh... Censored out? The fuck? That's why they, I guess it's saying, killed Tamitaki-san? I mean, it's not saying fucked <laughs> or shitted. That's right. So that's why they killed Tamataki-san, that impudent outsider speaking to the likes of me after everybody went out of their way to keep it a secret from me. They'll probably kill Oshi-san as well. That's what I'm guessing is censored, by the way. I mean, it's not going to say they'll probably fuck. <laughs> God damn. How fucked up would that be? For trying to unearth what everybody was warning me was better left buried. Besides that, 
he was unforgivable for spewing words that made me doubt the others. Of course, a guy like that is going to be killed. Both Tamatake-san and Oshi-san were nothing but outsiders, after all. They were entities who couldn't coexist with the people of Hinamizawa. Those guys should just fall to Oyashiro-sama's curse and just die. It wasn't their fault. It was my fault for not being able to hold back my curiosity. It wasn't their fault. 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 I settled into a daze. It was a lethargic feeling that I had just gotten up, but the fe- but the ominous chill that haunted me had subsided. I was fine now. I was no longer frightened. I had completely recovered. I'll go to school tomorrow, right as rain. I'll greet everyone. I'll take part in club activities. It'll definitely be fun. It had to be fun. I was one of them, after all. Ah, so fucking Christ. <laughs> Suddenly hearing his voice fucking made me jump. Oh my god, you fucker. <sighs> oh, here we go. I remembered the homework the two brought with them when they visited me. But wow, our club did deliver. That was something else. I picked up the package I dropped on the floor and headed to the living room. I call that a kitchen slash dining, but okay, sure. It would be nice, I guess, to have some tea with it. To fill my mouth with, um... Is it pronounced mochi or mochi? Hmm. I think it's mochi. Yeah, to fill my mouth with mochi while drinking tea. Oh, this was quite a delectable situation I was in. Opening up the newspaper wrapping, there were five plump red bean paste mochi fit snugly inside. Snugly. There were letters written from left to right on the newspaper. A, B, C, D, and E. Now then. They said Rena made one of these. I wonder which one. There wasn't much difference in how they looked. They smelled and appeared about the same. This was a pretty difficult problem. The biggest difference was probably their shape. I wasn't sure what kind of person Mion's grandma was, but Rena's had to be different from hers. Looking carefully, I could see one mochi that was made very neatly. So well that, just by staring at it, one could tell it stood out. Calm down and think even harder. Mion had said her grandma made a tongue of them and was told to give some out, if I remembered correctly. So that meant four of these were from that large batch. Then what about Rena? She probably made all only one. So she probably spent quite a bit of time on it. Meaning, that one Renum had made was this one. E. For a moment I thought it may have been a trap Mion laid as she knew I'd pick up on it, but that probably wasn't the case. I wouldn't be so sure if I knew Mion had made it, but since she said Rena made it, it probably wasn't a trap. Hmm. Not bad. The smooth bean paste and soft chewy texture left little to be desired. The tea I drank afterwards also accentuated the experience. This was an exquisite piece of work. Now, how about Rena's? The creation was so delicate, one would think it was a high-class Japanese dessert. Since I normally had quite the appetite, I was slightly worried about the size of the portion. But, well, first a bite. This is quite a difficult one to judge, actually. The ingredients were exactly the same, so there was little difference in flavor. 
What was different was how it was shaped at the end, so it was to be expected. So the deciding factors would be presentation and volume. The well-formed and well-sized champion versus run of the challenger with a size you just couldn't get enough of. I'd only just taken one bite of Renna's. I would probably have to wait until after I was done eating to make my decision. Maybe there is something hidden inside that could cause an upset. <coughs> it seems my prediction was right. My tongue touched something. It didn't feel like it was something edible, so I reached in my, f I reached in with my fingers and grabbed it. What? What was this? Before I could fully comprehend what it was, I threw away the rest of the mochi I was uh, eating as fast as I could. It slammed against the wall, causing the beam jam to splatter. Then, after sticki sticking for a moment, it slid down to the floor. I was dumbstruck by my own react my actions. What was I doing? Miranda had gone out of her way to make it for me. How could I? Dumbstruck, I looked down at the hand that performed such a vile act. Then, I remembered what I had taken out of my mouth. At first, I thought it was a hair. Even though it was shorter than Mion's, Rena's hair was still quite long. And it wasn't this short. Uh, wait, what? It was also a bit too hard to be hair. It was thick enough to roll around on my tongue. There was a bit of a metallic sheen on one end of it. Ah, yes, there was a hole from where thread goes through. A threading needle, oh my god. Like it was a sewing needle, or that. Yes, that's right. It looked very much like a sewing needle. Exactly like one. The end was pointed as well. Quite sharply. It really did look just like a sewing needle. Huh? What did I mean by looked very much like a sewing needle just a bit ago? I couldn't answer. But a voice inside of me already knew. And let me know by chattering my molars together. I couldn't stave off the terror welling up inside me. Suddenly, I tasted something metallic and felt a prickling pain in the back of my throat. Oh fuck, it stabbed him. I stuck my finger in the back of my throat and felt around to see if I was bleeding. Suddenly, I felt the urge to vomit. The sharp taste of bile irritated the back of my throat. Oh, did he... F did he fucking swallow one? Oh no, they were all filled with needles. I clasped both hands over my mouth, and after writhing in agony, I was somehow able to hold back the nausea. I was finally able to breathe normally again, but this time my heart was throbbing intensely. Then, it finally registered. Exactly what was mixed in with the mochi. Before I could think of the correct word, my hands were already on the move. I tossed the rest of the mochi against the wall. Oh, fuck. The geometrical patterns of the scattered beam jam of the wall suddenly invoked a terrible omen in my mind. After looking away, I dashed out of the hall and flew upstairs to my room, where I stayed under my covers until morning. I clutched my own shoulders, hauling madly in a mix of fear, anger, sadness, and frustration. This wasn't a threat or warning or reminder. Nothing as simple as that. What had happened... Wait, what? What had happened in Hinamizawa? What is happening in Hinamizawa? What would happen? I didn't know the answer to any of those questions. Where did I break a taboo? Regardless, now Rena and Mion and others. They consider me an enemy. And they thought I should just die. I won't let you kill me. Not for such a pointless reason. I fell into a restless sleep as I, as I was crushed by my negative emotions. It was as if I was being drawn into a billowing bottomless marsh. Hmm. That wasn't as dramatic as it was uh, portrayed in the anime. 
but it's some pretty it's some pretty serious shit. <laughs> Almost eating a fucking needle. Oh my god. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and save. And that's actually going to be where I end today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> I don't know how you could enjoy that. That was some fucked up shit. But uh, yeah. I hope you all look forward to the next one. Because uh, <laughs> at the rate it's going. I think next one is uh, going to be where I was panicking from earlier. That one scene that's very famous for it. Uh, uh, I can't wait to see it. So look forward to it. And I'll see you all next time. See you then and goodbye.